me today from Trading Instincts. Nelson gave me this book at the seminar two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I'm going to read to you about um, the bandwagon effect, following other traders, signals, right? That idea of what every, everyone wants them when they first get into trading, but it isn't um, sustainable. It isn't for traders that are looking to grow for the long term. So let's get into some of these trades and then we'll kind of turn back to the, the bandwagon effect in a minute here. First one we're going to look at is EuroCAD today. So EuroCAD bearish today, very bearish. As you can see, EMAs are bearish. 800 EMA is on top. It's bearish. 200 below that, 50 below that. So everything was very bearish. Market sentiment even today, fully bearish, not swapping. It's looking great for sales. That's why this got flagged and that's why this made the watch list today. However, when it presented this entry this morning, I didn't take the trade. I didn't advocate to taking the trade for a couple of reasons. First, you can see it's a two candle formation. It's an A1 entry. Your downshift was way up here last night. So you're already in the downshift. You're just looking for that downshift to continue, the downtrend to continue with the eight EMA under the 21. The reason why I said to pass on this is because look at the size of these bars compared to the previous price action. These two bars, specifically this right leg, is the biggest body of the day. That would qualify this to be an overextended candle. Anytime we see overextended candles, I always know that they're going to lead to a pullback. Now, not all of them do. Some of them tank. They're momentum candles and they run. But this one in particular, I didn't have a lot of confidence in just because the rest of the movement today was so quiet. To see it accelerating like that kind of made me nervous that it could just fake people out and then come back to pull back to the 50. It hasn't even touched the 50 EMA once since the Asian session. So I wasn't super confident in it. Now, it does fall, as you can see, about 0.6 R before pulling back. You wouldn't have been stopped out yet. You'd still be in the trade. You'd be sitting at break even, but it hasn't really moved for you. Now, I could still see this coming lower today. Market sentiment says that. You could definitely see this coming lower today. However, there's better trades, our GBP USD trade, for example. There's better setups to be in. That's why I stayed out of this trade. If you had to grade this, I would give it a B setup at best because it has one knock. Okay? B setup at best. And sometimes B setups are still losses. I wouldn't call this a win or a loss yet. If you took this big formation, be willing to give that stop time. Trust the stop. It's accelerating off that level with that overextended bar for a reason. If you don't think it's going to pull back and you think it's going to fall, trust that stop. Don't just bail when it touches the 21. The 21 and 8 are still in a bearish position. So you wouldn't want to bail on this yet. If that makes sense, give me a thumbs up in the chat. I want to move on to another trade. This is an A1 two candle formation. What we're going to show you next, let's go with another A1 two candle formation. We're going to switch to GBP USD. Now, this is GBP USD yesterday. Remember, I, I showed you guys at the beginning of the stream today. You didn't see it if you're watching this as a clip, but at the beginning of the stream, I showed GBP USD is down almost 4% over the last month. It's at yearly lows, 2021 lows. It's headed even lower, it looks like. So here, Yesterday, we had a two candle formation. You can see it right in here. Present off the 21 EMA. It looks small right now because of the acceleration that it had at the end of the day, but it wasn't. It was a valid two candle formation. RSI value was proper according to what we look for in the course and according to what our back testing says. Market sentiment was low to start the day, but not oversold, and it stayed bearish all day. The only knock, the only knock on this setup was the bullish divergence, as you can see it with my white line. RSI is rising price action is falling. Other than that, this was very clean. You can see it had that support here set yesterday. That support was held going into the overnight, the, or I'm sorry, this is Tuesday. The support was held in the overnight Wednesday. At the start of the London session on Wednesday, it breaks that support, tests it once, comes lower. Tests it once with another lower high as it's making lower lows. See how this is a lower low than this? Lower highs and lower lows, structures moving lower. Under that previous support zone. So this is now resistance. So we're under the zone. That looks great. All we have to do is get through the divergence line. What does it do? It bodies the divergence, holds the eight EMA and literally falls a hundred pips. You can see right here, a hundred point three pips by the end of the day, huge move with no exit sign. You're piecing yourself out of this as it falls at R multiples. And that's it. No other exit signal presents. So the only knock is the divergence line. And the next bar after your entry, before it reaches the divergence line, stays bearish, which is a great sign for two candle formations. You would not want this to be bullish. You want that to stay bearish. That's how you know you're in a good trade. So here, I would give this a B setup as well. One knock, 
being the divergence. It's not oversold. That's it. It's just the divergence. So you can still be into this trade. I know a lot of guys made money shorting GBP USD yesterday, but now you can see this is a solid two candle formation. This again is a B setup that ends up working, falls 100 pips comparative to today on EuroCAD. This one is also technically a B setup that doesn't work as well. So it's always about knowing what you like to trade. For example, I don't like to trade over extended candles. Some people like to trade into divergence like this on GU. For me, GU is a better setup than the B setup today, but they both are still ASFX entries. They're both entries that we teach in the course. And even if you took both of them, you lose the EuroCAD today, you won this big trade yesterday, you're still going to be profitable. So it still shows that the patterns so far that I've showed you, it still proves that the patterns are going to put you in a profitable position more times than not if you follow the rules well. So there's GBP USD from yesterday. Let's let's go to GCAD. GCAD, this is um, yesterday as well. This is a D1 entry. We had the support zone set here yesterday. You can see that. That support zone was held here in the London session once and then twice. But as it's making lower lows and lower highs, and we're already in the downshift because the 8 EMA gets under the 21 EMA here, we anticipate it to hold that 8 EMA and move lower. Now, this is not a 15-minute entry. You're using the 15 minute to identify trend, and then you're going down to the one minute to find your risk reward to find your entry. This also had bullish divergence present. You can see the white line is rising here. The white line is falling here. So there is bullish divergence, but you're getting in this trade as it breaks that divergence. And here you can see, I know you can't see because of my head. Let me zoom in a little bit more. It falls 58.7 pips at most. You're getting 3.5 R here in the first pump to the downside, pulls back, holds the eight, and then it makes its full move. Here, again, perfect yellow market sentiment line in the sell zone, telling us to be short biased, perfect market sentiment to look for shorts as the day goes on. EMAs are also short biased, so it all kind of fed into itself here. If I go to the one minute, this is what you'll see. The original divergence here is bearish slightly. It's falling. Here it's rising. That sets up the D1. And from there, look at what it does. Lower lows, lower highs, bearish divergence. That's a bearish signal with my white line right here. Again, lower low, lower high. Whoops. Lower low, lower high, more bearish divergence right here. The entry that we marked that we took here is as it makes another lower high. Let me switch and move this over here. You can see right here, this is that same part of the markup. An another set of bearish divergence. So you've got three sets of bearish divergence, lower highs, lower lows, breaks the 50 here with the market sentiment line in the proper zone, and it tanks. And that's where you get the full move. Same pattern that I'm showing you on the D2 for the reversal. You can use it here to trade in trend. Trading with divergence is what we teach in the advanced course. Long, short, reversals, and in trend. It doesn't matter. It's, on, it's really just about knowing how to use the one minute. After you find the bias on the 15 minute, you have to know how to use the one minute to identify the risk reward. If it's good enough, then you should be in the trade. If the 15 minute setup is good enough and the risk reward is good enough, you should be in the trade. And that's what you see here with this setup. You see the lower highs, the lower lows, the multiple sets of bearish divergence, everything saying to be short biased here. And what does it do? It holds the 8 EMA and falls 4.4 R at most. So there's a couple examples, two examples of two A1 entries. And now here you see a D1 entry. Let me show you another um, fake out. A1 entry. So here, this is GBP AUD yesterday. I think this is an important lesson for us. Here, you see the bullish divergence. RSI is rising. Price action is falling. That's the first thing to be aware of. The second thing here, the most important thing, this is your two candle formation that people were looking to enter on. Look at the RSI. The RSI did not close through the market sentiment line. It did not close through the trend line. So it was not a proper A1 entry. Also, the risk reward is only 1.2 R to the divergence line where it already found resistance today. You see how it comes off that line already. So if it was to move to the line, you would anticipate it to probably find resistance there. So the risk reward sucks because it's not 2 R and the RSI wasn't proper. So right there, it's just not an entry. This is not an ASFX edge entry. It's not an A1. This is a good candle formation, but candle formations aren't just what we trade. We have to use the TDI. That's what makes ASFX unique. That's what's proprietary to us. So here, because the TDI is not right, if you read my notes, you'll see this is not an entry. And if you took the entry because you were being aggressive, the next candle is bullish. You're looking for this to come lower. When that next candle is bullish, everybody in ASFX knows that's a bad sign because we're looking for the breakout to continue. What is it doing here? Now that it turned bullish, look at this. Low set, 
high or low, high or low, and then it reverses. That's a bad sign. If this would have come down and been bearish, that would have been the sign that this could continue lower to break past this previous low. But it didn't. And either way, the most important thing that I wanted to get out of this, why I'm sharing it with you guys, is because if the RSI value isn't proper, it's not an A1 entry. It's not an ASFX edge trade. So we're not going to be doing anything with it. Okay? Does that make sense? So now, just to recap, I want you guys to put any questions in the comments. We've gone over the potential entry here on GBPAUD, but why we would not take this trade. Okay? So we're going to close that. We talked about that. We talked about this D1 entry on GBPCAD. We're going to close that. We talked about yesterday's uh, A1 entry on GU. And then we talked about today's potential A1 entry here on EuroCAD. All of them are potential entries, except that GA that wasn't an ASFX entry. And out of all the ones I showed you, the only one that hasn't worked is this one here on EuroCAD. And then lastly, now to circle back with everything, here's GBPUSD with the D2 entry that we're in right now. You can see the second break of the 50 here. Here was the first one, second break of the 50. It's now retesting the initial high pop here set in the London session, probably on its way up to the 200 today. That's what I would anticipate. As long as the one minute market sentiment line here holds in the buy zone, this will probably continue higher. That's what I would assume. But stops are locked because we are going into that USD news. We are through that USD news. So we want to make sure we're not giving back anything that's green. That's the big thing. I never want to give back a green trade, especially one like this that pops pain free. You never want to give that profit back. You want to be taking profits and mitigating risk. But now I showed you guys A1s, a couple of them, a D1, and here a D2 entry. So you've kind of got a taste of all the, the three systems that we teach at ASFX. So if you want more information, link is in the live chat, link is in the description. Check out the starter pack. That'll give you the beginner course where you learn the A1 and the advanced course where you learn the D1 and the D2. Together, one-time fee, lifetime access, you get access to the Discord, the whole thing. That's everything you're going to need as far as how to actively trade Forex with proven profitable systems. Now there's a whole psychological aspect to it and there's more details to these entries than what I'm giving you here, of course. We go over trade management, risk management, position sizing, all of that is detailed in the courses. I can't go into all of that here, of course, but that's in the courses for you guys. So if you want more information on how I'm identifying these patterns, where the backtesting for these patterns is, why they're proven profitable and how you can identify them for yourself without any signals, without any crutch, definitely, Click the link in the description. Go figure out how you can get your money together, get your money up, do what you need to do to get the starter pack. Get with us. You will not regret it. Go to my website, read testimonials. You won't regret it. We don't have a bunch of people calling me a scam, writing bad reviews anywhere on the internet. Go looking for it. You won't find it. There's one crazy girl who said that because Sagittarius and Aquarius are in line, I'm a scammer, and she made some video on YouTube about it, but she makes no sense. She's just using my name for clickbait. So other than her, there are no negative reviews about ASFX and what we do, and I'm proud of that. So that's why I'm going to keep pushing it to you guys because I know there's new people here that are not in ASFX yet, and I think it can make a huge difference for you. You might be close to quitting. You might be ready to give up trading. Not yet. I want to pull you back from the edge. So definitely check that out. I appreciate it.